What's going on, guys? It's Declaration. Brian. <laughs> he just snapped his mask off. <laughs> so, we're getting fiberglass masks, like respiratory masks and safety glasses on. That kind of means it's body work time, people. Time is here. It, as you saw, I mean, we've, we've been doing tests and stuff like that. But uh, today is the uh, day for uh, no more tests. Isn't that right, Brian? That's right. It's game time. It's game time, baby. So, this is going to be a divide and conquer day because, yeah, we just feel like doing it more efficient. So, Brian is working on the body of the car, knocking down all of these ridges and getting all this wax and gunk out of all these body lines first so we know what we're dealing with there. And I... And working on completely sanding down this. Let's get this out the way. So, I'm going to be trying to sand this down fully. Oh, and there will be some modifications required for our new coolant uh, setup. Shocker, I know, right? So, I'm shocked. I have to do some cuts first and then I'm gonna sand I think it's right here yep right there and right there so I have to do a couple cuts as well so we're gonna get to work stay tuned guys hopefully this doesn't suck <laughs> What's going on people? We're back as you saw many hours later Brian and I are still sanding. He's got the roof looking pretty good. Nice and smooth. Dug out a lot of the grooves on the roof. It's going to town. <laughs> and what you guys saw me working on was this front grill shroud which I'm actually pretty impressed because if you look at it, it's very level, smooth, no dips, divots, or anything like that. And there's only a couple parts where I see that I needed to put some body fill. So 
right here is not bad, but there's just a little roughness, uh, a little unevenness on this side, and the same on this side. This one's a little bit more pronounced. You can definitely see the divot in there, so we need to smooth that out. And right here, on the top part where they bonded it together, there's definitely a divot here. Uh, you can feel, so that just needs to get smoothed out right here. And, but other than that, so what I'm gonna do now, that, I just did the first initial sanding to get like the gel coat off. So now I'm gonna block sand it uh, to make see, make sure everything is nice and smooth and I'm not missing any um, spots that are gonna need body fill. And yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but yeah, get that going. Because I want to get some body fill on this because of pretty much where we're at with the car. We got the cooling system set up and everything else really, really good. So um, we could actually paint this piece and permanently mount it and mount the headlights and the turn signals permanently. Because when we do the rest of the body work and everything, we can take the body off, but that doesn't have to be removed. That can be, that's not, the plan is that's not going to move anymore. So, I want to get this finalized first, and this will be the good test bed for what we're doing for paint. You guys aren't going to like it. Some of you might. Get the strong feeling most of you are not. It's my car. You don't like it? Buy one yourself and build it. We will happily take donations if you want us to paint in a different color. Or in a different way. Very different way. It, like, if you want us to take it to a body shop and paint it, the bill's roughly five to ten grand. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> Other than that, we're doing it our way. Stay tuned, guys. Welcome back, guys. I'm Brian. What's going on, peeps? Should, should we show them? Cause you, I mean, you didn't film this last little part, did you? Uh, no, they, they got like the... This they, part? This, this third and then that third. Yeah, they, so didn't get the, they didn't see the whole, the, the final buffing sanding, so... Think they're ready for it? Sure. We'll be nice. Look at that. So, surprisingly enough, like we were looking at it and if you look at it at this level before when you, before you sanded the grooves out this part looked much lower than this part or was it vice versa i can't remember yeah but one of these parts looked much lower but once you sanded the groove and got it down and sanded it looks almost perfect already all we have to do is fill the grooves i imagine there's some like right here there's still some disparity like this is a high spot over this this spot right here but it's actually not as bad as we thought we were gonna have to do we, we thought we were literally gonna have to pile on some some mud on there like there's a couple low spots right here and then on that side yeah, right yeah there's the one right above your door so right above the driver door right around there but yeah other than that it looks actually really good brian did a good job thank you brian Yay. <laughs> and then while he was working on this you saw me working on this so i'm gonna preface this i've never claimed to be a body guy and this is literally the first time i've actually laid <laughs> a body filler on anything so before you judge i know it looks bad but Luckily, this stuff sands, so it's still drying. It's kind of dry, um, but this is really this. Uh, there was a high spot. I mean, um, like a divot in the middle right here. Um, it was cracked right here, which uh, 
Yeah, that, that was a very bad repair. We're gonna, I'm gonna redo that after I sand that down. Um, and then there's just some low spots right here, but I was gonna get to those after I get the big spots repaired first. And there's also a couple low spots right here. And then there's also low spots right there, which I'm also gonna get out. But I, I was gonna putty those at the same time as this one, but I ran out of putty. So, um, that I've had prepped. There's, hopefully we don't need more than a gallon, Brian, of body fill. If we do, I'm sorry. But yeah, all right, well, We'll catch you guys tomorrow because we're gonna let this dry. Let Brian, you have to go to work, mm -hmm. and I need to shower because it looks bad. And then, yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'll learn some better techniques on applying body fill, or not. Either apply body fill better or get really, really good at sanding. <laughs> Say lovey. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Welcome back, guys. Brian. What's up, peeps? So, we're back on sanding. My body fill project. That's probably dry. So, more sanding. Yay. And this is going to be a common theme in the next quite a few videos. Sanding. We'll try to make something else in there so you don't have to just keep watching us time lapse for 20 minutes of... Hopefully by the end of this video, there will be something mixed up in there. Could be. They, they, they don't know that yet, but... Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> More sanding. Welcome back, guys. Brian? What's up, peeps? What are we about to do right now? Gary's about to paint, I believe. And I'm about to uh, watch him paint for a second and probably take off because I have to go to work tonight. Yay. Yay, work. But yeah, so I'm going to paint. Now, what I was saying is, guys are probably not going to like this. But that's okay, because I like it. Steal it gray. Hey, steal it if you're watching. Hit me up. Your boy loves your products. <laughs> uh, so we're going to paint this. I got this nice and smooth. Got it prepped up. And we're going to see how it comes out. We've, we've done tests already, though. Like, this isn't like the first time we've sprayed, like, bare fiberglass. Don't get me wrong. And if you look at the instructions, it says it can be used on fiberglass. And it comes out actually fucking phenomenal. So... You guys are about to get the actual first preview of what the car is going to look like. Excited, Brian? I am. Let's see how it works. Like, 
What you guys saw was the first uh, first four coats. This stuff, it's what, four coats, then six hours later, there's another four coats. So, yeah, four coats. Now, all the stuff that you've seen us paint as well, it actually self-levels. And we've been testing this on fiber on this particular fiberglass as well from factory five just to make sure it's good i did leave a couple scrapes in here but after you saw last video that's going to get scraped up in like day one i'm not worried about it what i was mainly concerned was getting this shaped well and the top and the sides looking really good because those are going to last more than a day so there's like a couple pinhole things right here that you see on the bottom but one you can't see it two it's going to get scraped up in a day like i said people this is a driver brian a driver right <laughs> but yeah the sides look amazing so should i show them the, the our test sample so they can get an idea All right, so you guys gotta wait. <laughs> but you'll see how this comes out. It, it's gonna look out, it's gonna look great because we've tested this like four different times on different types of levels of sanding and everything like that. So, and as you see, the paint lays really, really smooth, especially from a spray can, which I've never seen a spray paint lay this smooth with zero runs like the way this stuff does. So I'm pretty pleased with it, but yeah. I do appreciate you guys watching these videos and watching us sand and yeah, sand, sand and sand some more. Sand some more. <laughs> but yeah. Um, How are you yeah. Oh, and Brian, you want to talk about which, uh, the reason why you did the under part? Because I don't think we talked about it. I think you showed them on the camera, didn't you? Uh, you, you showed what you were doing, but I don't think we explained why we were doing this. So, like, if you look, well, you can't really see it now, but like, yeah maybe in that top corner you see how like thin it's like maybe one sheet of fiberglass so we're gonna putty under this and putty on top of here to kind of try to add a little strength to it because <laughs> i'm going to do um a covering under this anyway so i'm not worried about it so yeah we're just trying to yeah think. so as i was sanding through the glue um it got very thin between the on the roof side so when you looked in the car under the light you could actually almost see through the fiberglass so put a little on the bottom there to kind of seal those or some strength we'll put it up here for some strength and then that's going to be rolled and dynamited and oh, covered in felt and everything else so the inside will be fine yeah you want to give see. it a little bit a little bit so of some some places i had to get in there a little deep and like that big hole in the back there yeah right here he had to go real deep Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah he did a good job so brian did a good job but yeah this looks amazing and the roof actually doesn't look too bad off so that's good and that's some of the biggest pain in the butt on this entire build is getting these level and they don't look too bad so we're gonna get next video you'll probably see us yeah we got the tiger here so we're next week we'll probably start slapping on this and continue sanding disassembly possibly some something's going to just get disassembled because we got a good system going brian working on the main body while i'm working on the smaller pieces and stuff like that or we can even alternate you if you want to do a smaller piece <laughs> and brian's like nope i want to do the big like the big body's fine <laughs> but yeah so that's how we're going to probably run that but thank you guys for watching these videos i really do appreciate you watching them um if you like this type of content consider subscribing and if, comment down below tell me what you guys think and hit that like button um yeah anything else brian uh, oh yeah but the offer still stands if you don't like our paint choice and paint method send us a blank check and we'll paint it however you like it he's not wrong <laughs> yeah i like it and when it degasses, it looks amazing. So, have a good one. Peace.